Might have been that guy, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Got him. He's out. Oh, there's more than one. good the sun is coming up look at that look at how gorgeous this is i'm going to orient ourselves to this uh, little area here i'm going to sort of give you the low down but just look at that look how gorgeous that water is it's actually the second best water that i've seen the graphics are beautiful the second best water that i've seen the first best water that i've seen is actually World of Warships, the most beautiful game for gamers like me who live on boring flatlands and feel the need to grab their sea legs every now and then. A game that gets updated so frequently that they've added 500 new intricately crafted real world ships to their arsenal. Look at these. I could just keep scrolling and each of these has a different class, whether that be battleship, destroyer, cruiser, or even an aircraft carrier where you can establish dominance from the skies. They add content every single month, whether that be new ships, nations, cosmetics, or ship classes. This keeps the game froggy fresh, and when I say beautiful, I mean truly beautiful. This is the most realistic water in a video game that I've ever seen. 50 unique maps, dynamic weather, you can leave the ports and experience stunning 12v12 arenas that are host to the occasional in-game events, such as Godzilla vs Kong, Transformers, Azure Lane, a lot of fun to be had with their unique additions. You can play with your friends or head out as a solo on PC, and get this, on consoles. Click the link down below for a special welcome pack that comes with seven days of free premium and a lot of fancy coins into your digital coffers. Grab it, play it, own the high seas. <laughs> Did you guys, you guys like that little intro? That little transition there? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's turn our flashlight off because we obviously don't need it anymore. Let's open our map. Alright, so this is the map. We are right outside of Morton. We want to get to the military site to engage or to acquire some weaponry to engage in hostiles, but we're going to need a little bit here in Morton, but that's that is where we need to be for some extra goodies. So that's where we're going to head. Uh, there are some zombies that we need to encounter some people that are probably going to try to kill us. So we need to get something right now. <laughs> we have a flashlight to blind them and an ax that's, Pretty much only good for zombies. Like this one here. Let's see how smart they are. Yo, come here. Come here. Sir. Sir. Your contents are showing. <laughs> here we go. And then... Luckily, each one of them has a backpack with a 5.56 magazine, $100, and a soda can. Though I don't know how to drink anything in this game yet, but I at least have a soda can. Wandering around town a bit, you'll notice I was carrying an MP5 without any magazine. I was quite surprised then to find this little guy laying around. What's this? Ooh. What are the odds... I found the MP5 after recently spawning outside of the town, but decided I didn't want to explore the town until daybreak because everybody clicks off dark videos anyway, so I just sat there with my extra long flashlight doing this. But after daybreak and a bit of looting, we take out a couple zombies. Hello there. That is not very suppressed. <laughs> it's very loud for a suppressor. Come on. Uh, you know, probably probably saved him from his dermatitis anyway. We make a new friend. Hey, look at the beautiful butterfly. Hello, butterfly. 
Hello, butterfly. And then we head east to the military base. Now, we're armed with an MP5 and a SIG P320 that we found in one of the houses. Along the way, we have one small stop called the Gemstone Factory, which is where there's not a whole lot here, but we explore anyway, hoping to find a weapon. There's technically a trader mechanic here, but we get in there and see what we can find. Oh, there's another P320. Put, it, put the magazine in our trousers. I don't know what the rings do. You can craft some stuff here. Ready? Clear it. Cleared that. P320 right there. Okay. Looks clear. We are going to grab this bad boy. There you go. Look at that. Not a bad haul. Look at this. Uh-huh. A little tan color. A little coyote. A little coyote brown. That's what it is. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> anyway. It's a good haul. It's all right. We'll, we'll take a few more pistol magazines and... We still need uh, a lot more, though. By a lot, I mean a lot. We're going to need a plate carrier, helmet. We got it stacked up, man. We got to chat up. It ain't much, but it's honest work or something. Now, as we come up to the military base, there hasn't been a whole lot of action, which is good because we can't really defend ourselves for very long anyway. But we know going into this military base, there are often people looting here. This is where there is high tier loot and high tier zombies, if you want to call them that. But we've got to be smart as we approach. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Here's the fence, so we need to find a way over the fence. Because the military base is back in here. Look at this, man. This is just gorgeous, though. Like, I already talked about the water, of course. The greenery... This gets me so ex nice right here. The greenery gets me so excited for gray zone warfare because the, that greenery looked incredibly dense. And if they can do it in a way that like doesn't have to render stuff in every single time you turn, that's just fantastic. I just really, really like dense areas. And I think games like this game, let's talk about this real quick because look how far apart the trees are, right? Now, in, in this terrain, I guess that's that's pretty normal. But, I mean, there are forests with boom, 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 boom. Like, forests around where, where I'm at. More like woods. We don't really have any huge forests. But, I mean, they are covered in trees. And it's very difficult to trek your way through without some sort of... Huh? <laughs> okay. Without some sort of, <laughs> sort of path. So I missed it somehow. Up this way. There we go. There's a wall. Okay. Missed it by that much. Thought maybe I could just go straight east, but obviously it was not the case. We're coming up to the training grounds here. What we really want is the barracks. I think it's called the barracks. That's what's got the the beds and stuff. See, the door's open down there, so someone has been here already. Someone may be here. Let's just hold tight, scout it out a little bit. How do I use my... <laughs> I don't know how to... Just hold R? Wait, did that do it? It did. Okay. You have to double tap R. So seven. Boom. Okay. Seven. One more. Seven. Boom. All right. That's actually good. It's great. We got that sorted out. Um, I was not sure how to do it. We gotta make sure we're on full auto here. We have 
three mags of our P320, so that's great. Luckily, we don't run into anybody here, so I take my time looting and I find a suppressed MCX chambered in 300 blackout, as well as an M4 that we've put an L can on. Because as you'll find out here soon, range in this game is a very, very important factor. We end up finding a high tier zombie here and he puts up one heck of a fight. <laughs> and so we grab his vest and then make our way to where the big boys play, the unmarked tunnel on the map. Here we'll find AI and most importantly, players. This is where it gets fun. For some reason here, there seems to be gas leaking at the bottom of the tunnel. Not sure what the story is there, but you'll see several watchtowers housing guards where they will shoot at you. Running up to this place, there is very little cover, mostly open fields. And with them having the top of the hill, it is very difficult to approach this thing without getting doinked. But our goal is to get up there and then destroy any players coming our way. Because once we have the high ground, well, you know what happens. Now, last time I was running through here, they had some AI in the fields. Ready? Can I hit him? How far do you think he is? Let's find out. Got him. Hey, actually, you have exactly what I need. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Go, 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 go. That was a nice shot, wasn't it? A sniper got me last time. And I think because he's, he was still alive, someone got him. Or they, he got somebody, so I wonder if one of the players is out or maybe maybe they shoot at other zombies I, I really don't know I haven't approached this before so oh beautiful butterfly hello beautiful butterfly we have people up front there oh yep that's a player Sniper. We gotta swap here. Push down. Let's hope he doesn't come up here. We might even meet him around the corner. Oh, don't like this. Don't like this at all, Mr. Baggins. Here. My heart's racing now. This is like those Tarkov moments. This this guy was definitely a player. Maybe I got him. Let's check. Is he dead? He'd be in the ravine. He did. Oh yes. My first player kill of this of this recording anyway. What is this? Seven mags of three hundred blackout. Five mags of five five six. Imagine how much weight this is, man. There we go. Oh, life is good. Well let's continue our assault then, huh? Where was that sniper from? Like where the heck was he shooting from? Yikes, man. Scared me. Now, I don't see anybody spawned in right now. If I go test the waters. Oh, 
Gun down. Nothing. Might have been that guy, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is not good. I'm done. I'm done for. Oh, golly. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Where in the world? He's on the left side of that hill. Is that a player? Oh, I hope I don't die. Don't bleed out, buddy. Don't bleed out. Okay. Serious. Hang on. Where is this guy? Where's the guy I killed? Ravine. There we go. Alright, that was a player. 100%. My guess is they're making their way to me right now. They had some good aim. I think they had some suppressed things there. player in the tower yeah got him I got you buddy I got you I'm thirsty and I'm almost dead that m110 sniper maybe i'll use that let's see what's up here first i need to worry about my drinks first all right so there are more towers so i really have to be aware of those but where did this guy go Okay, just took one to the head, okay. <laughs> oh, he just took one to the head. So with the hill captured, it was time for the fun part. We just sit up here and wait for people to come to us. It's like hunting in Ohio. But in this case, I, I guess the deer actually shoot back. Can I get up here? way. I'm gonna get down. Mm. So I'm looking at me. over to the other side. There he is.
There we go. <laughs> I got my whole uh, whole arsenal here. A whole hundred and some rounds. Hundred rounds at the very least, right? I get a little cranky when I don't get to sleep early enough, so I had to go down there and deal with this player. I was in for a surprise, but turns out it was a lot of fun. He's up here. Sit down the road. I don't know. Ooh. He's behind me. You sneaky, clever girl. All right. But I do not know where. Oh, found him. Got him. He's out. Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> there's two. Any more? <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh, it's so much fun. All right, gamers. You guys have a good one. Be bold. Be courageous. Stay gray.